Hello and welcome to, yes, another Where's the Deal episode. The series where I go on the Facebook marketplace in search for good, bad, and outrageously terrible video game listings. But before I move on to today's video, I want to give a huge shout out to a local band called Stern Approval and their new single, I Don't Mind. Now, I'm not getting paid by them or anything. Long story short, it's my cousin's friend's band. He helps with the marketing, social media pages, and he'll sub in for bass if he needs to. So yeah, link will be in the description, everyone. I would greatly appreciate it if you throw them some love. That would be very, very cool of you guys. So with that said, yes, let's get on to today's video. Okay, so the first one here is for a small-ish lot of PS2 games for 100 bucks. Now, usually I would skip past a small listing like this with a somewhat high price tag because majority of the time it's never worth looking at. Although I found myself coming back to this one because I noticed the Onimusha trilogy there, black label as well, and that's somewhat harder to come across all at once. Then you got a few other games to note, like Resident Evil Outbreak, and that one on the left here that I'm sure I'm butchering the name of, Galleryan's Ash. The rest of the games, while good titles for the most part, are more common to find, and usually with common games, the price of them reflects that, you know, by being cheaper. But is it worth $100? Well, let's take a look at the games I mentioned. Galleryan's Ash sells for around $32 complete. Outbreak, at least the first one, is worth around $15, maybe $20. Then you got the Onimusha titles. The first game isn't worth a whole lot, maybe 10 bucks. The second game, Samurai's Destiny, I'd say is more around 14. And the third game, Demon Siege, is not a game I come across too often. It's not super rare, nor is it all that valuable as Onimusha Dawn of Dreams is, but still Demon Siege is much harder to come by compared to the first two games. And its value is somewhere around 25 bucks, give or take. So when you take all those numbers, these five games alone are worth just under $100. So technically, yes, you would be getting a deal here. It just more or less depends on if you care about the games involved in general. The next listing here, I flat out don't like. I think it's terrible, to be honest with you. $299 for only 13 PS4 games. That means he's valuing the games at being $23 a pop. What makes this bad exactly? Well, you know, call me crazy here, but I don't think any of the games are even worth $20, let alone $15. Hell, a couple years ago, GameStop and even Disc Replay were practically giving away copies of those Destiny games for a couple bucks, even brand new. Battlefront, FIFA, and Far Cry I have seen for under 10 bucks for a while now. The two Call of Duty titles are worth under 15 bucks a piece. The other games, like I said, I highly doubt are worth anywhere close to $23. So what you have here is a drastic overpriced listing and maybe the seller just doesn't know what the games are worth and you know, I'll give him the benefit of the doubt in that regard. But even then, 300 bucks for maybe $100 worth of games here. And that's me quoting it on the high end. It's just bad all around. Great games here, fine, but you'd be out of your mind to spend that kind of money on a listing like this. Jumping into the polar opposite end of the spectrum here, we have 16 games, both from PS4 and Xbox One, for only $30. This is crazy on a completely different level, because I would jump on this one in a damn heartbeat. I don't think anything here screams high dollar and... Maybe I'm wrong about that, but I do know damn well this is worth well over what the seller is asking for. Shadow of the Colossus alone, I think, is worth around $22. Then you got a Steelbook Fallout 4, which is awesome. I, I love Steelbooks. You got XCOM 2, Division 2, The Crew, and a few other games I wouldn't mind adding to my collection at all, especially for that low price. This is a fantastic little bundle here, and... I wouldn't be shocked if it sold very, very quickly. $70 for nine Xbox One games. He's not separating the lot, but at the same time, he says that Borderlands 3 is sold. Okay, 
If that's the case, why wouldn't you just retake the photo and change the listing? It's kind of hypocritical, but whatever. Regardless, 70 divided by 9 makes the games in this listing valued at 777 each. You are saving some money here since a couple of the games like Resident Evil, Siege, Guitar Hero, and Halo 5 are worth more than $10 each. The rest of the games are worth around 6 to 9 bucks. Like I said, you're saving money here, but not a whole hell of a lot. This is one of those listings, again, where you kind of have to care about all the games included because otherwise I don't know if it's exactly worth dealing with. Because I know, personally, I can find better deals elsewhere. Not shocked that this one sold at all. 30 bucks for a large stack of PS3 games. Even with the sports titles and games that are in generic cases, there's still good stuff here I wouldn't mind having. Like those grid games. I don't really come across them all that often, and both games together make up the $30 price tag. There's other great stuff in here like Metal Gear Solid 4, that Genesis Collection, The Last of Us, Gran Turismo 5 XL, and a few others. You'd be walking away with a good deal here, nothing mind-blowing or anything, but still a good deal on a variety of games across various genres. This one shocked me because I rarely come across Game Boy stuff, period, on Marketplace. And when I do find stuff like this, the person has every single game listed with different prices that are usually on the high end of the spectrum of eBay. So this was refreshing to come across. And for five bucks a pop, that's not bad whatsoever, especially when you consider what games are here. Super Mario Advance, a $15 game. That Game & Watch title is worth, I believe, 12 those Yu-Gi-Oh games, I grew up with these and played the hell out of them when I was younger, and I believe they're both worth around $10. That Kingdom Hearts one is also worth around $10 as well, and the other two games I don't really think are worth a whole hell of a lot, but I could be wrong on that. Either way, I love this listing, and if it were me, I would ask if he would do better on a price if I were to grab everything all at once. You never really know, and it doesn't hurt to ask. Worst thing that could happen is he says no, but big deal, you're still getting a good price on the games regardless. Here we got a $75 Sega Genesis game lot. I'll be upfront with this, it sucks. Yeah, fine, he has Toe Jam and Earl, which normally is worth around the mid-20s, but the label is damaged, so its value drops down because of that. I would say making it worth near the ballpark of 18-ish. Lion King, while good, is 10 bucks, and Cool Spot, another game I like, is worth maybe 10, also due to the label damage. The other games here don't hold much value. They're worth around maybe 4 to 8 bucks, so it's nowhere near the seller's asking price of $75, and I don't really think there's any point in negotiating a price when I personally wouldn't want to pay even half of what he's asking. I don't like insulting people and negotiating prices, even if they are so far away from what the stuff's really worth. Honestly, it leads to nothing good, and it's really just a waste of everyone's time. 15 bucks for these Xbox games here. It's got a lot of great games here. A lot of games I really love, like NBA Ballers and NBA Street 2. Yeah, they're sports titles and I usually avoid them like the plague, but Street 2 is not only a fantastic game, it holds some value being worth around 13, 15 bucks, which pretty much takes up exactly what the seller wants for everything here. NBA Ballers is about an $8 game and I think it's very underrated. Nowhere near as good as NBA Street in my opinion, but I still enjoy it a hell of a lot more than any official simulator styled NBA game. Then we have games like Black, Delta Force Black Hawk Down, Project Snowblind, and Mortal Kombat Deadly Alliance. These games vary in price from 6 bucks to just over 15 in some cases. So you're getting an excellent deal here, especially if the discs are in good shape and they are complete with the manual. By the way, that is something I have never brought up prior to this video. When I talk about these listings, if they don't specify the condition, like if it's complete or scratched to shit, I normally go with the benefit of doubt in hopes that they are in good condition and complete. Obviously, if the games are scratched or they're missing things like the second discs or additional content, that will affect the value, sometimes drastically. Just something I want to throw out there. 
Moving on to our final and arguably the most confusing listing. We have a complete Wind Waker for $2. So that's weird because that's like a $75 game for two bucks. It's almost unheard of. So then I clicked on the guy's profile just out of curiosity and he has more games for sale. All of them for some reason were listed at two bucks each and fair enough, some of the games he has like a Splinter Cell, Crystal Chronicles, and I think there was a few other common sports games. Not worth a hell of a lot, but Wind Waker and Def Jam Vendetta, another game that's sought after and not cheap. I mean, the game's worth like 40 bucks complete. I can only assume he's selling these games for two bucks a pop without any realization or idea of what these games are actually really worth, and if so, holy shit, that's ridiculously good. One of the best I've seen in a long time, just in terms of what you would pay versus what they are really worth. So yeah, that'll do it for this episode, everyone. For those who have been asking how I've been doing with my medical condition and all that, I'm doing better. My wounds have been healing very well for the most part. A lot slower than normal, but I'm still healing nonetheless. I did have a scary setback about a month ago after I thought one of my wounds was completely healed, and it was not. To make it brief, I made the mistake of scratching it in my sleep, which of course caused a pretty nasty issue. But again, I'm good, everything is great, and I'm hanging in there the best that I can. So with that said, everyone, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed the video, and as always, take care, and I'll see you next time.